The federal government may spend about 1.68 trillion naira as subsidy on premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol, from September to December this year. An analysis of data provided by oil marketers and the sector has shown PMS dealers stated on Thursday that the pump price of petrol should be between 890 naira to 900 naira per liter, based on the fall of the naira against the United States dollar and the surge in the price of crude in the international market. Petrol currently sells at between 598 naira and 617 naira per liter depending on the location of purchase, fueling suspicion that the commodity is being subsidized by the federal government. I tell you, this commodity is being subsidized by the federal government. The government and the NMPCL have not officially admitted that subsidy on petrol has been introduced. That's the point. President Bola Tunubu had on May 29 announced that it has ended the subsidy regime during its inaugural address. Now, the government subsidizes PMS, that is Petro, through the NNPCL, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, who is the sole importer of PMS. Other markets have stopped these PMS imports due to their inability to assess foreign exchange. The removal of subsidy led to an increase in the pump price of petrol from about 198 naira per litre in May to the current rate of 617 naira per litre. But the fall of the naira coupled with the rise in crude oil price have continued to mount pressure on the cost of the PMS. Now, dealers in the downstream oil sector explained that the cost of crude oil and the exchange rate of the naira dollar accounted for over 80% of the cost of PMS. That is to say, the exchange rate is accounting for over 80% of the cost of PMS. So whatever affects the exchange rate, that is the naira dollar relationship, is going to, however, affect the cost of PMS. Now dollar is almost more than a thousand naira to a uh, dollar. And this is eventually going to typically affect the cost of PMS. Brent crude, the global benchmark for oil, rose to about $95 per barrel on Thursday. It has peaked to $97 per barrel the preceding day, which is the highest figure in 2023. Guys, subsidy is back. And I think, I believe, the government should be bold enough to tell Nigerians that subsidy is back, according to this report. Okay? Now, quoting the a media report on Thursday indicated that the federal government paid 169.4 billion naira subsidy in August. In August, now quoting the Federal Allocation Account Committee document, the report said the Nigerian liquefied natural gas paid 275 million dollars as dividend to Nigeria via NNPCL. So NNPCL, according to another report, used 220 million dollars. That is 169.4 billion naira at uh, 770 naira per dollar out of the 275 million dollars given to them by the Nigerian liquefied natural gas to pay for the PMS subsidy to pay for the PMS subsidy in the review month so according to this report said I told you earlier that there's no way that the government will sustain the price of petrol at 670 naira per liter without paying subsidy on it so going by the continued fall of the naira the national public relations officer Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Chief Chinedu Kadike, told reporters that the dollar is now almost 990 naira at the parallel market currently. And you can see the effect on this, or the effect of this on the pump price of diesel. Diesel is close to 1,000 naira per liter, so the retail price of PMS should be around 890 to 900 naira per liter. Therefore, it is better for the government to assist the masses by paying subsidy because. The United States, the super products or petrol is sold around $3.9, which is close to about $3,000 per liter. Now, what is happening? Are we saying that the subsidy is gone, speech at the inauguration has returned, and Nigerians don't know? In August, paid over $164 billion for subsidy. Nigerians, I don't know what to say at this point in time. Let's just know that subsidy is gradually crawling back.